So this is my test of the e-locker. Uh, I have swapped the e-locker rear end from another 4Runner over to this one. I have run a test wiring harness which is right there. Uh, it runs throughout the car. Let's see if I can open this up and kind of hack that together. There is the ECU for the e-locker. Uh, I've pinned it into uh, a live wire when the ACC is on, uh, when the ignition is turned over to the ACC. And so uh, my button is wired in. I didn't do a light or anything. So this is with the button off. You can see, no matter which way I spin it, only one wheel spins. I'm going to go ahead and push this diff locker button. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like something engaged. And it looks like the locker works. So, uh, success, same thing. I'm going to push it again. I think I heard it unlock. And it is unlocked. So, uh, e-locker works. The wiring harness that I had put together works. I just used a bunch of old wiring. Um, I did get that diagram online, so I do want to credit uh, the place I got it from. It was uh, definitely helpful. I did verify it with the uh, factory uh, service manual, but this diagram really made it easy. Pretty much uh, dummy proof, so I'll put a link to that. Uh, it was pretty awesome. Anyways. Uh, I now have e-locker on my beat-up, salvaged, 335,000-mile third-gen 4Runner.